Hello YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. I have a new mic, so we'll see how this goes. It's very short, but it's better than no mic at all, I think. So anyway, I am very excited um, because today I have some uh, project bags to show you. So a couple weeks back, I made mention that I told my mother, who is an avid quilter, she has an Etsy shop, uh, Fern Cottage Quilts, I'll link it in the description below, that um, she's been doing a lot of quilting of uh, placemats, baby quilts, and I mentioned to her about possibly making project bags. And I had talked to her about making one that I would uh, show it to you on the channel and see if um, there's any interest that we could drum up some interest for her sake. Um, so she made like 10. <laughs> and she has uh, probably 10 more in the works. So I don't even know. Um, but she's really enjoying making these bags. Um, so I wanted to show you some of the ones she's made. And I thought about giving one away. Um, to somebody on the channel. So um, I'll go over uh, that later. But first I wanted to talk about my works in progress for the week. So I saw this post on Facebook that somebody did this March Madness calendar where every day they stitched on a different project and then the project that got the most stitches carried on to the next tier um, and then they'd have like a winning project at the end of the month and I thought this was such a cool idea that I uh, made my own March Madness I have in my bullet journal here the problem is I don't stitch this way so I absolutely hate doing this <laughs> but I've already committed to it I already slotted it out the pages in my bullet journal and all of that nonsense so I'm making the best of it but uh, so usually the way I stitch is I, I, I block out so many days for each project so by the end of the week I can show you this is what I've done so far on this project for this month and that's it I'm done for the month you know I usually do three projects a week at the end of the week I'm done with those projects for the month but doing it this way, I've only worked, like, I've only stitched one day on a project. And then I'm not going to go back to it until the second half of the month. You know, I have 15 projects. So then I won't start again on it until the second half of the month. And, um, I don't, I don't like doing it that way. But I'm going to do it that way this month. So you're just going to have to uh, humor me, I guess. But... That being said, because of that, I don't really have a lot to show you because I don't want to come with, to you with half-finished works. And let me show you, for example, I did bring one item down. So this is one thing I stitched on. And all I did was I stitched all these things. For, because there's this giant church here that I want to work on. And, and so I stitched all this. And my hope is to spend a lot more time on this and, and work on the lower half of the church, but this is all I've done so far, and that's not a whole lot to show you um, after a week. So, so I'm just not going to show you the things I'm working on right now, the little things. But I did spend a lot of time on one uh, whip that I'll share with you now. So I worked on um, Hello Pumpkin, which is a fall stitch along that was from Caterpillar Cross Stitch um, Company. Um, I don't think it was, I think, I think it might have been 2019. Uh, I had done, I had participated in the stitch along for their winter tree, which was a uh, hello deer, because there was a little deer on it. Um, this one is Hello Pumpkin, so it's the fall theme, but I'm stitching it after the fact. So it's not in a stitch along right now, it's just, you know, I just have the whole pattern. But I worked on it a lot last night. I probably did 
over 500 stitches and I worked on it a little bit before that and I don't think I showed you an updated um, I don't think I, sh I did an update on the video a video update on it after I worked on it so anyway long story short here we are there's my hello pumpkin and I just love now this is on 14 count uh, Ada I I don't think I have anything else that is this large. I, I don't usually stitch on 14. Um, I think even my Legend of Zelda is 16 or 18 count Ada. And then most everything else I'm working on is um, uh, 25 count or 28 count um, or linen. So, but uh, I do know like my stitches are, my linen probably the stitches are this big, at least for my peacock um, piece. So anyway, it's not that, that big of a deal, but I'm stitching it on this size because my Hello Dear is this size. And actually, I'll show you that one because that's FFO. So hold on one second. So this is um, Hello Dear. Originally, when I started working on this piece, I was going to do a smaller linen, but it was like a cream colored linen. And some of the, um, the cream parts of the um, pattern blended too much into the linen, and I just felt that it looked better on white. So what I had at hand, uh, was 14 count Ada. So that's what I stitched this on. And, and to stay consistent with this size, I'm stitching Hello Pumpkin in the same size as Hello Deer. So that, anyway, is the long and short of that story. Um, I want to keep them all to be the same. I think they're eventually going to come out with a spring and summer tree as well. I really like the cartoon aspect of these. I think they're really <laughs> cute and endearing. So I want to do all four, um, but I want them all to be the same size. And then I'm just going to change them out interchangeably with the season. So that is where we are on that work in progress. So let's talk about project bags. Um, I have them all here and I'm just going to show a couple of them, maybe go through. I'll just, I'll just uh, flash them up on the screen. Um, if you're not interested, um, you can fast forward to the end uh, and I'll talk about the giveaway. But um, I think she's done such a great job with these. Um, so there are, here's, okay, we'll just, we'll just go through them. So here's the first one. It is very cute. S summer, summertime has a little beaded, uh, bit on, on the, um, zipper. And then little watermelons in the middle. Now, this is actually a magnet that uh, a lot of these have a magnet in them. Um, for anyone who wants to keep their needle minders or their needles with their projects so that they are not sifting around in the project bag trying to find those things. I know a lot of projects, um, I see a lot of you that use needle minders like to have a needle minder for each project. And so this allows you to keep that needle minder close at hand um, in the bag. It has its own designated spot. Here's another one. So I think these are just so cute. She did such a great job. And there's the inside. So I'm going to list these on her... Um, 
Etsy store. I have I have them. By the time this video is up, I'm going to have these all posted today. Um, all these bags. So, for the coffee lovers out there. Isn't that pretty? She's so talented <laughs> compared to me. <laughs> This is one of the earlier ones. I think I don't think this Apple one has um, a needle minder. Uh, it doesn't have a magnet in it. A couple of them didn't have magnets in it when she first started, um, but then added them later on. And here's the inside. So another one. And these pieces are, um, they're, some of them are similar, uh, but they are um, not alike, not 100% alike. Um, here's another one. A little beaded. Um, I think it's a nice touch with the zipper. And I'll say for example, like um, she made two cat cat ones. So there, there's um, a cat in the middle and cat pattern on the back. Same with this one. This one doesn't have a cat pattern on the back. So, and then the cat in the middle is a different cat on each one. So, um, these are similar, but they're not identical. And uh, here's the inside. So, what do you think? I think they're um, fantastic. There's another one. This looks very Easter-ish. So, and then I have one more here. These are really pretty project bags. And there's the inside. So I would love to give one of these away. And I know a lot of uh, floss tubers don't like to um, have you mention giveaway in their comments because they want to give their gifts to their subscribers, which is totally fine. And I understand that. Um, but I would love for you to share. <laughs> I, I want to try to... Uh, um, generate some attention um, for her Etsy store. So I'd love it if you'd be willing to like the video, comment, share um, in your social circles. Um, anyone who might be interested in a project bag um, that would be interested in the giveaway. So amongst them, I think I think I'm going to give away uh, one of the kitty cat bags since we have two. So I'll give away this one. It has a magnet in in uh, for the needle minder, needle minder magnet. Um, we'll call him um, Clarence the kitty cat bag. <laughs> um, so if you're interested in this project bag, uh, just comment on the video below. Let me know what project you're working on that you want to put in the bag. Um, I'd love to hear about what projects everyone's doing. If there's any kitty cat projects, that would be the spe the perfect bag for uh, a kitty cat project. But um, any project they'll do. Just let me know what you're working on. And uh, I'll pick one person out of all the comments next Monday. So um, we'll go from there. But thank you for watching. 
and uh, I will see you next Monday on the next Foss 2 video. Bye! Thank you.